Hey guys, this is Mike from Monroe, and today we're going to go over disconnecting your motor end. But before we start, I want you to cut the power from the pump by turning the electrical breaker to the off position. Then you're going to disconnect the electrical wiring at the pump, but be sure to take a picture of that wiring to make reconnection a little bit easier. And then I want you to take the petcocks or drain plugs off the pump to drain the water. Now we want to locate the four bolts that join the pump case to the mounting ring. These bolts can easily be seen from the back side of the pump. Here, you can see Nick unscrewing those bolts. Now once these bolts come off, you're going to want to use a mallet, a screwdriver, or even a pry bar to get those two pieces apart. Now take your gaskets, one there, and the square cut gasket, and set to the side. This way you don't lose it at the motor shop. Now you want to transport that motor end to the service center. Once we're done with that, we want to replace the gaskets and align the motor end with the pump case, making sure the junction box is to the side. Fit the motor end into the case opening and secure with the four bolts. And once we're finished tightening up those bolts, we're going to tighten up the drain plugs. Then we're going to reconnect the electrical wiring using the photograph that we took earlier if we need to. And then we're going to fill the pump case up with water to prime, turn the breaker to the on position, and then engage the pump. And once you're done with that, you are done. 